Hello, uh, today I'm going to kind of play around with AutoCAD here so you can sort of see what I do for a job because I thought some people might find it interesting. Um, right now we're in AutoCAD and uh, I'm going to do some drawing here. Now I've set up some stuff already, like I've got some different layers here for different things I'm going to do. We're going to start with parts. I'm going to do a left view and rectangle. So I'm going to click any point, doesn't matter where. I'm going to make a rectangle that's 300 millimeters by 18, 20 millimeters. That's about one foot by six feet. So we now have a rectangle. And since I'm going to be drawing in, well, as close to 3D as AutoCAD can get, I'm going to use the extrude command, select that. I'm going to tell it that it's 19 millimeters, which is three quarters of an inch, pretty standard material. So if we do a fancy isometric view, you can see we now have a side panel. So I'm going to do a top view now so I can see it from the top down because we need some shelves for this. So I'm just going to turn object track off because I don't really want that on. Um, what's a good good length here? Ah, let's make it easy. We'll just go for a thousand, a thousand millimeters. Not a hundred, a thousand. Um, and we're going to make it almost as, as big as the, uh, the gable was, so we'll go down 299. So this is going to be a pretty big bookcase, because that's like a meter, so that, yeah, that's about three feet. So we're going to extrude this as well, 19. If we do a front view now, you can see we've got a shelf on the very bottom. Um, I'm going to fancy it up a bit, so we're going to move it up about three inches, which is 80 millimeters. And uh, we're going to want one to go up to the top as well. So we'll measure to see what it is to the top. Oh, this is very tiny. 1721. We'll get rid of that dimension line. And we're going to copy. We're going to put that up 1721. So now we've got a top shelf but we don't generally make things flush like that, so we'll put it down a millimeter, just so it's a little bit offset in case you know, something's a little bit wrong. Um, how many shelves do we want? Well, let's see. I'll check from... Oh, I don't have... I've got lots of these things turned on. Like, this is where it'll snap to on a line, but I want to select midpoint, and that, that should about cover it. I go from the middle of there, We'll put one in the middle of the bookcase, which is 820.5. Copy again. So we now have a shelf in the middle, and because we want lots of books, we'll see how much distance there is between here. So I'm just drawing a line just because about the fastest way I can figure this out. Measure to the midpoint of that line and we would need a shelf. Oh, I guess I should go from the middle of the shelf to there, so. Ooh, 0.75, we'll just go 449. Delete that. So that's approximately centered. Um, We'll do the same thing here. This will be a slightly different space because we've got that raised up a little bit. I'm not being very precise here just because I'm trying to do this in a hurry. That would be, we'll say 410. We'll copy down 410. So we've got something kind of kind of looking like a bookcase now. I'm going to select that, and I'm just going to mirror it so I don't have to redraw it. Now we've got it on the other side, and uh, to make it a little fancier, we'll put a rail down there. We'll extrude that. 19 millimeters again. You can see it stuffed it at the back there. I don't actually want it at the back. I would like it just a little bit back from there. It says it's 280, so we'll go 279.
Now if we want to be extra fancy, draw a line and we'll go up, let's say 25 millimeters, that's about an inch, and we'll do an arc. I'm not sure exactly what it's trying to do to me. There we go. Um, I'm not going to really explain that much of what I'm doing because if I do this video is going to be like a million years long. Obviously I did not do that how I intended. Let's try that again. All right. Go there, go there. No, it's, it's just not working with me here. Uh, let's try this. P edit. Ah, there we go. I'm going to extrude this shape, this little crescent I've got here. Also 19. Where did it, it stuck it at the back again. So we had moved that up to 79, we'll move this up to 79. And what we can do is we can use the subtract command. There's, there's buttons for all this stuff here, but I prefer typing it in. So we'll select, not that object, we'll select the rail, hit enter, select that, and now we've subtracted it out. So I'm gonna fancy little curved rail there. Um, let's draw in a cheapy back panel. I work in the RTA industry, so, you know, this would be cereal box cardboard or something. Uh, how far up do you want to go? Let's say three. We'll make that two millimeters. Didn't quite stick it where I wanted it. Just mirror it there. Just to make it extra fancy, let's change it. Cyan. Here's our fancy bookcase so far. Um, now obviously, we're gonna need to somehow put that together. So let's go to through drilling, cause we'll just use screws because we're lazy. We'll draw a circle. Five millimeter diameter should be all right. That's that's fairly common for a lot of screws to fit through. We'll extrude it by 19. Now, if you look, we've got a screw hole going through there, but obviously we don't want it right on the edge. So to put that in the center, um, We'll go 149.5. Not that we really want it in the center. Well, we're only going to use two fasteners. Let's copy that. Um, 128. It's a little too close to the front for my liking. We'll go back 32. Now I do 32 because 32 millimeter system is fairly common in North America. Well, everywhere. The drilling machines that make this sort of mass-produced stuff is all on multiples of 32, so 192, that works out. Um, so we've got a through hole through the side panel, and now we'll go to drilling. Just do a pilot hole. Uh, let's do a 3 millimeter pilot hole, and we'll make it 30 deep. So if you go to a front view, you can see it I'm sure there's a way to make it not do this, but it's just so much faster for me just to like do it and then correct it afterwards. Now we've got the through hole and a pilot hole. We'll copy that over to there. So we've got part of the top connected. Now what we can do is we can mirror that by the center point. Now we've got the top fully connected. We'll select those screw holes and we'll copy them. We'll do a multiple copy. 
Now if we select the midpoint there, we can go like that, and like that, and so on and such forth. We now have all the fasteners we need there. And we'll need something to attach this fancy rail of ours. And I think we'll just use the same thing, a series of screws. So that's 43 over, 9.5 down. I'll move it at 43. Um, we want it down a little bit, so let's move it down 19.5. Looks good to me. Oh, I meant to copy. Control Z is undo. Copy. Um, what was I doing? 43. Actually, let's just go 25 down. Don't want it too close to the edge. And then 32. So as you can see, now we've got some screws there. And uh, yeah, so this is this is complete now. Actually, there's there's something easier I could have done that I didn't show you. Why don't I show you that right now? All these shelves we just drew, we shall delete them. We're going to use what's called a block, where you can take like a clump of objects and combine them together. So we're going to call this a shelf. We'll select the objects. We're going to select this, 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 that, and that. Say OK. Now you can see when I select it, it selects everything. So if I copy it, multiple, I can take the whole object down. And obviously when you're machining this, it's all the same part. So it's one, two, three, four, five shelves, all identical. Great thing about this is if you go into it, you can edit it. Let's say you decided, oh, I didn't need that. Save the, save the changes, and it's gone in all of them. But we do need that, so just undo our way out of there. Um, I can also do the same thing with the gable. Um, this will have a right and a left gable, so I do this is a block and that is a block. I, I'm not going to do that just to save time. Yeah, this is this is part of what I do. Maybe in a in the next installment, I'll break this thing apart so that there's like actual dimensions on a drawing, so it's something you could machine. Um, I'm not going to take the time because I don't have the dimensions set up properly, but um, I'll do that before I make the next video. So there you have it. There's a bookcase. You can even make it extra fancy.